Yeah. That a boy, dude. What that happened, Nixon? Sex. So I just cast it like, right, like about like, like about like two more inches away from the boat, and I just caught a pike. Sweet. Like this is I've never caught a pike before. Like, oh my! I'm so proud of myself. Awesome, Nixon. <laughs> Proud of you too. Okay, do you want me to hold him for Well, you? that was like right at the yeah, boat. I'm it just going like to drop right him, so. So there's Eric's pike. We just doubled up on pike. First two fish of the day. I don't want to hold him. Okay, here, I'll hold him for you. Let's look at Peter. Here we go. Nixon's first pike. <laughs> I don't get to tell grandma. <laughs> awesome. I know. All right, what's going on, Dungy? So, pal's still in limbo, and to be quite honest, we were getting not sick of uh, catching trout, but we just needed to change a pace a little bit. So we did come down south. We're at somewhere totally brand new to us, and uh, wa uh, water's warm, weather's warm, and uh, we're gonna go after some uh, pike and some largemouth bass. So. Uh, should be good. See how we do. Um, so we've already got two pikes. I caught, so Grandpa caught it right before me. So we were both, we are both, our both, both of our lures were out, and we just caught double. And so I caught, I caught a pike, and my Grandpa got a pike. So we're doing really good right now. <laughs> We can get 10 more pike. Yeah, like Nixon said, we just doubled up on some pike, which is pretty awesome. Pike's kind of new to us. And uh, I've only ever caught one, so Nixon's already tied me, my lifetime score. I don't think anyone else has caught a pike. I've never caught one. I think my dad's caught maybe a couple, but it's been a, it's been a long time. Uh, conditions are really good. It's uh, 60, almost 60 degree water temp. Uh, light winds and just bright sunny sky and dad almost had another one huh. so it should be good really looking forward to it First ever pike, and it was on a fly rod, and that was sweet. It really gave the eight weight a, a crunch. Nice, Eric. Pike? Oh, that's gotta be a bass. Bass? First bass. Yeah, that's a good one. Large mouth? Oh, it's a really nice bass. Yeah. Really like. Oh, fat. Hand me the pliers, would you? My Pop dad's caught out fatter. Easier. My dad's caught fatter. I'm not joking. Oh. Nice, Eric. <laughs> that is a chunk. Wait, that's like the large mouth I caught at Jordan L. Oh wow. 
big bag. Big size. Oh, <laughs> same one you caught? No. It's like the same this size. One's <laughs> yeah, that's an even better one. But it's kind of like the same size, right? Come on, Devil. There you go. Come on, dude. Nice, Dad. Man, that's a good fish. See, that one's the opposite. It's long. Wow. What a fish. <laughs> you did wanted, not like that. I wanted to jump again. So I'm using a lizard and it's on a, a swim bait hook that's weighted. Uh, it's probably about just an eighth of an ounce. So it's moving really slow. I'm letting it sink down uh, to the bottom, the base of boulders, and then hopping it once or twice and then they're hitting it chartreuse and, and pumpkin. A little red flake in it too. Sweet. And that's been really working for the bass, right? Yeah, and I caught up I caught my pike on that too. And I'm just I'm just pegging the tip of the hook because there's quite a bit of brush in here along with the rock. So I'm just, I'm not true Texas rigging it. I'm coming through and then just pegging the tip. Fish would feel way rougher. There you go. Got a boy. Oh, got Another one. little pike. All right, dude. Good job, Nick. Second pike. All right. Hello, Dad. Oh, that, yeah, that's like a baby. Here, bud. Baby pike. Do, 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 do. Woo! I knew I had something. Maybe he just smelled my sweet tarts. He wanted some sweet tart. Wait, I want to take a picture. Okay. Um, someone get the camera. Sorry, bro. I got him on film. Yeah, I, that's what I'm trying to find out if you guys knew, but I don't know. It seems like they would have put Guys, let's go get Grandma and Blake. Like yeah, not necessarily. Oh, last? It's not as good as the other ones. You found that shaky bass? Yeah. He's decent though. Is that a bass or smallmouth? He's about like that first one. This is He's like in between. Nice. We're gonna put them back in. Whoa, gut though. Yeah. Dude's a glutton. Oh my, Peter. Oh yeah, nice. Urban, your thing's working, but you're just. Little shaky going. head with a, just a little red worm. Big old fat large mouth. Man, that just thick, thick fish. Lost at Jordan now. Ready? Yeah. Dad. Oh, he got me pretty good. Yeah, nice. That was awesome. A little bit better than a. I, I like that a little bit better than a creek Dad, brown trout. This is what I lost. I'm not complaining though. Yeah, this is what. Oh yeah, it is. It's a big large mouth. It's a fish? Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, oh no, like the nicest large mouth I've ever caught. Can I film, Dad? Dad, can I film? Can I film? He doesn't want to come up. There he is. Oh. 
Nixon, get the other the other little GoPro, the black one. And you can film underwater. Right here. So how do you turn it around? Press that top button once. Now just put it underwater? Yep, and point it at the fish. Whoa! Yes! Can you still do it? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, baby. Really stoked about that. Can I film them when five? Okay, can I film them underwater? You putting them back? I'm still taking video of them. the net? You get the net next? Are you gonna do it? <laughs> What's on that one, Peter? Your bait? Your bait. Nixon. Big old football. I mean, they're all just so gutted here. It's crazy. All the fish on me. Just awesome. This time on the jerk bait. Six cents provoke. We love those jerk baits. The bad release. Sorry. Oh, there's one fish back here. Yeah, one. Oh, two. Pike, huh? Oh, yeah. Really nice one. That's one of the bigger ones we've caught, too. Oh, sorry, bud. You're fine. Man, Pike's pretty big. Something that. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna have to push through these weeds, huh? Here we go, came all the way back up the creek. This guy was just in a couple feet of water. Hit the Senko. These pike are everywhere. They're pretty fun. 20, 80. Fish. Oh, might be a largemouth. It is? I think so too. Yeah, it's a good one. I don't know how good he's hooked here. Yeah! Thanks, Pete. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> All right. All right, I picked up another largey. Man, look at these things. They're all just so stout. Just healthy, healthy fish. Got him on the jerk bait. Wind's picked up a little bit. It's a little bit later in the day. 
Awesome, awesome fish. Beautiful. Heck yeah. This is probably his dream lake. Paddleboard. It's a bass too. Yeah, it's a good one. Your boy Corb. Bring it. Swing him this way. Yeah. There you go. Oh my gosh. Dude. He's bass, man. Hold him first, so he can get leverage. Oh my gosh, Corbin, that is a fat, fat bass. Yeah, good one. Awesome. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice one. I don't know, what is it, Prest? Oh yeah, good pike. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. It wasn't coming unhooked, I'll tell you that much. All right, there you go. Nice pike. Nice. Pikes are fun, especially on a fly rod. Get you released off. Now you can get all that on film? Yeah. There you go, Corb. Ooh, it's a bass. Nice. Yeah. Oh, nice. There you go. Man. Every that I mean that's the caught. that's the smallest one we've caught like by far. And it's a good fish. Yeah, it's fat. It's got a gut. Sweet. So sweet. Nice. All right, let's get a release of this guy. Do you want to get an underwater one for us? You got one. Yeah, I got one of his last ones. Oh, okay. All right. Nice. Nice. What is he? Okay. Is it nice, sir? Yeah. Do you want me to get the real camera out? He had me wrapped for a second. Oh, it's a good pike, really good pike. Like a one worth catching. Oh, yeah. <sighs> nice. Good job, Russell. Oh, yeah. There's like our 12 pounder. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I got it. 
Okay, you got him? Yeah. Wow, Eric. Nice one. Really nice. Oh, sorry, sorry. There we go. Get in a little closer on him. Casting some Let me get an underwater shadows. on him. Okay. Right now. Let's get a picture too. Here for us to try to do this real quick. And you can grab that other one too. And I'll get a picture. Try and lift him up kind of in front of you more. There you go. Okay. So this is kind of the story on this one. Yesterday we were out here fishing and we spotted two beds. We spotted a bed here and a bed right there. And uh, we kind of pitched at them. They weren't hitting anything. So we, we left it alone and we came back this morning. And we got this guy to hit. So I'm gonna release him and then I'll kind of show you what we did. Him on this side, get him closer to his bed. Okay. Here's what we did if we explain it. This is called it's called a Nico rig. So what you do is you take a Cinco, you put an O-ring right here on top and you hook it in the back and then you take a nail weight and you stick the nail weight in the top so when it's in the water it's like this and what it does is it kind of imitates like a worm or something trying to pull eggs off the bed so you throw it into the bed and you kind of work it up and down like this and it's going to look like the worm is trying to get eggs off the ground or off the bed it's called a Nico rig and it's really good for beds. Uh, bring him over. Get him. Yeah. Sorry, bud. Do you want to hold? Do you want to hold him for a picture? All right. Okay. All right. So we just explained what we did on that other bed about 10 yards that way and so we've seen these two beds like Peter was saying through the Nico rig at him first cast on both beds we got him of course we gave him gave him a day to chill out but that Nico rig really works on those beds man what an awesome fish what an awesome fish it's just, man, what an awesome, awesome trip it's been. We uh, wanted to try something new, so we took a chance at a place that's kind of far away, and we'd seen pictures and videos, and shout out to all those who gave us some info on this place, and man, it just really paid off. Caught a lot of quality largemouth and a lot of pike, and it's just been a really, really fun time. So, yeah, <laughs> what more can you say? It's hard to... Hard to find these guys in Utah, and we found some of them. Get him back, put him on his bed, and go pack up camp. 
and go head home and go to Lake Powell next week. Now, now everyone's talking except me. Heck yeah.